Welcome to Sandwiches of History. It is Guest Host Friday. Now, you might know our guest host today uh, as the drummer for a band with hits such as Bitchin' Camaro and Punk Rock Girl. Please welcome from the Dead Milkman, the one and only Dean Clean. Hey, thanks, Barry, for having me on the show. Uh, today on Sandwiches of History, um, we're going to be making the Parma sandwiches from the salads, sandwiches, and chafing dish recipes of 1916. Okay, the recipe calls for a combination of hard-cooked eggs, which is hard-boiled eggs, chopped English walnuts, I've just got regular walnuts, and chopped stuffed olives. These are olives stuffed with pimento. It says to chop them separately and then combine. So let's start with the egg. I'll add the walnuts and we'll add the olives. And we're going to mix that up and we're going to moisten with mayonnaise. And I'm using Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. Mix that up. It's a little dry still. I'm going to add more mayonnaise. This is a scaled down recipe, but you know what? It looks like a lot of filling one sandwich but let's give it a go next step is to put that on butter bread that's quite a bit of filling i don't think i'm going to use it all <laughs> so let's give this parma sandwich a go i'm getting the saltiness of the olives contrasting with the smoothness and creaminess of the mayonnaise and the egg the walnuts are kind of adding just a, a little crunch to it a little texture thing going on you know what I do want to plus it up. So I think I want to plus it up three different ways. The first way I'm going to add a little cucumber and some fresh dill. The second way I'm going to add a little bib lettuce, a piece of uh, Roma tomato and some black pepper, and I'm going to use some crushed red, pe red pepper on the third version. All right, so let's give this Parma sandwich plussed up with a little red pepper flakes a go. It's adding a nice little color of heat to it, not overpowering. Maybe I could have added a little more. Let's try this Parma sandwich plussed up with a little fresh cucumber and fresh dill a go. Mmm, that's good. The crunch of the cucumber and the dill is contrasting nicely with the uh, mayonnaise and the egg. Um, the walnuts are kind of lost in there. They're not really, maybe a little earthy taste, but not really uh, showing up for the party, but I like it. And let's give the final plus up, which is a little Roma tomato and some bib lettuce, a little black pepper too. That's good. Tomato is adding a little sweetness. Lettuce isn't doing much. But they're all not bad. Let's say we're pretty good here. Okay, so the original Parma sandwich uh, it was pretty good. Uh, a little bland, I think. Um, I'm not uh, really a, an egg salad sandwich kind of guy. Um, I liked the contrast of the, the stuffed olives with the smooth and creaminess of the mayonnaise and egg. There was a little bit of earthiness with the chopped walnuts, but it wasn't adding much to the sandwich. It kind of got lost in there. I'd give that maybe a, a five. Uh, plussed up with the uh, red pepper flakes, um, I would say the Parmer's sandwich would be maybe a five and a half. Plussed up with the fresh cucumber and dill, I'd say that might be a six and a half. I like that one the best, I think. And the final plus up, which was the Roma tomato and the um, bib lettuce, that was like a six. So all in all, not too bad, not spectacular, but um, all in all, not too bad. Thanks for having me, Barry. Hey, Barry, I thought of one more thing. I noticed that the recipe at the very end says I should cut the sandwich into fancy shapes. So you know what? Let's do that. So I think I'd like to try and cut it into the shape of a car. Some of you might ask, well, what kind of car is it? I think it's a bitchin' Camaro. <laughs> yeah, it looks more like a bison than a car. <laughs> 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 kind of. I see the wheels in the hood, I think. Shall I leave it like that? Yeah. 